The South Kirkland District Community Foundation is committed to improving our environment. The communities of Selkirk, St. Andrews, and St. Clements understand the importance of a healthy river, lake, and marsh system. That's why we're pleased to support the Red River Basin Commission's pilot project to restore the Netley Lebo Marsh. So we're here in Netley Lebo Marsh. It's the largest coastal freshwater marsh in North America. Um, but unfortunately, over the last hundred years or so, it's undergone a pretty marked process of degradation. So there's been a major loss in, in shoreline vegetation and all sorts of functions and, and benefits that the marsh provided historically. Historically, we would see lots more fish and mammals and, and water birds, and it would also sequester nutrients, especially phosphorus, um, in a way that it no longer does with the lack of vegetation that um, it's lost over the last hundred years. So, so there's no longer the same effect of sequestering nutrients, which of course are really helpful with the algal blooms on Lake Winnipeg. This is really the last line of defense for water entering Lake Winnipeg. So the phosphorus and nitrogen that come down the Red River, they enter the marsh first before going into Lake Winnipeg. And without the vegetation here, um, it, it doesn't really sequester nutrients in the same sort of way. Um, but something else that we're trying to do this year is figuring out maybe a, a different way of raising up the marsh floor rather than actively dredging sediment out of the Red River and moving it into Netley Lake. What we're going to try doing this year is setting up these biodegrad biodegradable baffle structures. So rather than sort of fighting against Mother Nature, what we're going to try to do here is just gently nudge the way that sediment is being laid out within Netley Lake. Because now there's about 40% of the flow from the Red River flowing through Netley Lake. Um, and that causes sort of turbidity and some problems within Netley Lake. But it also creates an opportunity to trap this sediment as it's passing through and just nudge Mother Nature in the direction that we want her to go. Our bathymetric monitoring from 2022 indicated that the majority of sediment that was deposited was retained within our restoration area. However, because of the extremely high water in 2022, we were not able to get the vegetation growth that we were hoping to see last season. Even though we succeeded in elevating the marsh bottom, the water was still deeper in 2022 than in 2021. We're continuing to monitor our restoration area under moderate water levels this season, and this will be the real test of whether the reduction in water depth is working. We have a longer record of the extent to which the natural reduction in water depth has been driving an increase in vegetation within the miniature delta that has been forming in Netley Lake. Beginning in 2018, 150 acres of vegetation has become established in these shallow areas. 